My name is Aubrey Millard. Welcome to this 3D Evolutions tutorial on modeling a mattress. Now this is our finished mattress and what we're going to be working on today. For those of you who have seen our uh, other tutorial on modeling a leather pillow, you'll find a lot of the techniques we use here are the same. And you'll find you use those techniques a lot when you're modeling furniture. So we'll begin. First we'll reset our scene so we can start fresh. And we'll begin by drawing out a simple box. Now your standard uh, queen size mattress is 80 inches long, 60 inches wide, and we'll give this a height of 10. Now we've got to add some segments in here so that we can round these corners off. We don't have nearly enough. So for the length segments, we're going to put in 20 width segments, we're going to put in 20, and height segments, we're going to put in 10. Now once we have our segments all in, we're going to go over and we're going to put a relax modifier onto our newly created box. So in your modifier list, select the relax modifier. Now you can see how it's already started to try and round our corners off here. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a nice rounded shape. We don't, we don't really want it square. So for a relax value, we're going to give it a value of 1. And for iterations, we're going to give it a value of 5. Now you can see how that rounds off the corners quite nicely. And we're actually starting to, it's starting to look a bit like a mattress shape now. You can also use a lot of these techniques that uh, I'm going to show you here for creating other things too, like um, cushions for sofas and chairs and whatnot. So now that we've gotten to this point, we're going to collapse our stack, and then we're going to convert it to an edible poly. So we've got our edible poly, and we're going to hit F4 so that we can see our edged faces. Because what we want to do now is we want to create that ridge around the edge that you see on the mattresses. So we're going to select our edges, and what we're going to do is we're going to pick this edge just down from the uh, right on the edge here right on the just down from the top we're going to select one of them and we're going to go loop so we see it goes all the way around and then we're going to do the same for the opposing one on the bottom side so hold your control key down and then select that other edge you can let go of your control key and go again and loop so as you can see we've got it looped all the way around the mattress. So once we've gotten to that point, scroll down in the selection in the list here until you find Create Shape from Selection. Right there. And click that button. Give it any name you want. Doesn't really matter what. Leave it on Smooth and select OK. Now what we want to do is we want to hide our mattress for a minute so that we can see what we're doing. So we're going to go hide selection because we've got our mattress selected. And there you can see the two splines that we just created. Select those and under the rendering tab select enable and render and enable in viewport. And you can see how it rounds out and extrudes those two splines. Now the default is one unit one inch on my system and that's a little bit too much so we're going to bring that down a bit to about 0.4 because we want a nice ridge but don't want it to be too big and that should look pretty good once you've done that you can go back and you can unhide all so it brings our mattress back and there you can see how our mattress has those ridges running all the way around And what we want to do is, right now, they're two separate objects. That spline that we just created and our mattress. So we want to attach them together. So with the mattress selected, scroll down until you see the Attach button. Click that. And select our spline. And there. Now we're working with one object again. 
So now that we've gotten to this point, what we want to do is I'm going to hit F4 to take off our edged faces. And you can see how we've got hard edges here. It doesn't really look all that natural. So we're going to get rid of those by putting a smooth modifier onto our mattress, onto our mesh. So again, in the modifier list, go down until you find smooth. Apply that and select where it says auto smooth. And as you can see now, we've got a nice smooth mattress. And you can see how we could also use this to build cushions and things like that. Once we've got our smooth modifier, everything's done here, so we'll just collapse that again because we don't need it. Now all that's left for you to do is just texture it. So we'll throw a quick texture on it so you can see what it looks like. Now I always use the Arc and Design materials because they're quite easy to work with. So just select a bitmap. I've got some uh, fairly decent textures I like to keep for such things. There's our mattress texture. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select our mattress and I'm just going to select by element because I don't want to apply this texture to our ridges. And then assign material to selection. And you can see how uh, it's too small so we're going to change that. Now that looks a lot better. And now we're going to do the material for our uh, ridges running around. Now we'll use a nice white linen texture for that one. So again, we're going to select by element select our two ridges and then we'll apply that to our selection as well. And there we have ourselves a nice mattress. Now normally you wouldn't go into this kind of detail because normally a mattress is going to be covered by a sheet and pillows and all kinds of stuff, but if you ever run into a situation where you need to show just a mattress, then uh, you know this is the way you can do it. Anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks very much for joining us. Have a good day.